Arguably the most important reason why I chose to train here at Stanford is because of the people and the culture. I have an interest in basic science. And from day one, the program leadership had already connected me to the right people to meet, the right people to work with, and to ensure that I had the ample opportunities that would allow me to take my career to the next level. I particularly am very interested in taking care of underserved populations. Being the first in my family to go to medical school, I have a strong inclination to give back to the community I came from. There are three different hospital sites for us to visit that have very different patient populations. It allows me to care for patients of various cultural and socioeconomic backgrounds. With the opening of the new hospital, Stanford is expanding its service to the community and the well-being of Californians, and we as internal medicine residents play a large role in that care. We tend to have a lot of patients that are coming from different areas to get highly specialized care. Then you actually have a more of a county experience when you go to Valley. And many of the patients who we see there are in traditionally um, underserved groups. As a medicine team, you're responsible for uh, taking care of many different primary problems, which is, I think, pretty fun as an intern. And then finally, uh, we have the, uh, the VA hospital here in Palo Alto. You get to see a wide range of pathology and, and really see the, the breadth of medicine, and I think that's a lot of fun. I actually have my primary care clinic at Fair Oaks, which is completely outside of these three systems. Um, they have their own EMR, and the patient population is pretty similar to that of Valley. Rotating at those different locations has been uh, among the highlights of my year so far. Not only are you working uh, with uh, consulting services from multiple specialties, but you also get to see uh, a breadth of interesting pathology, but then also uh, your bread and butter diseases as well. On my oncology rotation, I was exposed to not only a wide variety of different cancers, but also active clinical trials that my attendings were running. And most of the times, the first questions they have for me is, do you want to be involved? I have a role for you in this trial or this research project. There's a rotation for addiction medicine, and then there's also a rotation for the VA homeless population. So it tends to be very unique because you see so many different healthcare systems and, and how you can provide um, health to very marginalized populations. Last Friday evening, as I was going off my medicine service, one of my patients was about to decompensate. And without hesitation, my co-intern looked at me and said, let's go see the patient together. And I think that lies in the core of the program here at Stanford Internal Medicine. Really, whatever idea you have, they let you run with it. Basically, with the support of the program director and the associate program directors, I created something called the Stanford Internal Medicine Heals. This is for any resident that's in internal medicine that is interested in being a leader in health disparities and trying to mitigate health care disparities. This was just an idea I had, and then I just reached out to a bunch of people, and, and now it's a pilot this year, so it's pretty awesome. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.